Hey guys, welcome back to Container Crops, the Scaredy Cat Gardener. We are getting ready to talk about 511 and why you need to think hard about it. Yes, this is what I'm talking about today. I need to know why you're using it. Do you even know why you're using it? Are you using it because she's using it or he's using it or they're using it? Do you even know about it? Do you know what it really is? Do you know anything about it? And not only this, whatever fertilizer you're using, it's time we have that conversation. So let's go ahead and get started. Show off your fantasy reality, whoa. That's yours, but I'll keep doing mine. You'll be living your good life. Catch a glimpse from the outside all the time. Okay guys, we are back and before we get started, if you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. Join me over on Facebook, The Scaredy Cat Gardener on IG and Container Crops on Facebook. Join in the group, post your pics, post your garden over there. I'd love to see it. It's for you, not for me. Okay guys, so I've got a whole paper clip full of notes today just because of this 511. Yes, it's fish fertilizer, but do you really know what that means? Do you know what the numbers on here means? 511, what is 511? Is it the time of day? Is it how much you use? What is it and what does it really mean? So guys, it really doesn't matter what fertilizer you're using. You need to know in detail about your fertilizer. And first of all, these three numbers, they are your what you call NPK, which stands for nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So why 511? What does that mean? It means in this, you have 5% nitrogen, 1% phosphorus, at 1% potassium. If it's 10 to 2, then you've got 10% nitrogen, 2% phosphorus, and 2% potassium. Okay? That's what that means. I've had people ask me when I said, oh, I'm fertilizing. What do you fertilize with? And when I tell them, they ask me, well, what does it mean? So I thought I'd come on here today and we'd have that conversation. So it says on here, fish fertilizer the obvious okay it's got something to do with fish but what exactly does it have to do with fish how is this made what is it made out of well fish fertilizer is typically made from the unedible parts of fish like anchovies and just smaller fish it's the bones the skin and the scales so you have your unedible parts they are ground down to make a slurry then from that slurry you have to extract the oils as well as the fish meal. The liquid you have left is your fish emulsion. But now there's one more step. That liquid then has to be strained to lower the pH. And then it's finally ready for our gardens. But why do we like it so much? If you're not using 511, and this is not a paid promotion, but my garden is doing amazing because of it. And if you're not using it, you need to use it. And if not 511, you need to use at least, if not this brand, any brand. Just make sure you're using some fish emulsion, okay? So why is it so important? Well, let's take a look at the history. Just to touch on a little bit of the history, you need to think hard about using fish fertilizer because it dates back to the Roman Empire. You see, the Native Americans used to take a single fish and put it in every single hole that they planted a grain of corn. Every seed of corn, every hole had a fish. But you see, we don't have to catch our fish now, okay? It's been made into this wonderful fish emulsion. They knew, the Native Americans knew the benefits that it would provide, that it would produce healthy, strong crops. So they use the fish, the whole fish. And even to this day, you will hear people say that, oh yeah, I put a fish down in the hole, a whole fish. And if you fish, you might want to think about that. 
you might want to think about that. I wouldn't suggest if you have a big garden going around getting all these fish to plant. That's a lot of work when you can use the 511 or any fish emulsion. But it's something to now, think there's about. There's a lot of other nutrients in fish emulsion. But your three largest nutrients that all plants need is your nitrogen, your phosphorus, and your potassium. And that's why NPK is so important. But it's also important that you know it too, so that you know what you're putting in your garden. Not just, oh, that 511 works good, but what is it? What does it stand for? Or whatever. You need to know, okay? And it's not bad to know a little bit about the history of where it came from. Did some person just all of a sudden decide, I'm going to use some fish and it, his plant grew and so you're using it too? Come on now. <laughs> Let's do our research. So that is why I say if you are not using 511, you need to take a hard look at what you are using and you need to think about it. You need to get the package. Do your own research. Everything I tell you on my channel is my experience, my thought process and what I do. I share it with you. If you can benefit from it, fantabulous. If you can't, let's keep it moving. Okay, let's keep it moving. All right. You know, I think that's going to be it for today. Short, quick and simple. But I wanted you to know what a, a little history about your 511 and what these numbers mean, because I have had too many people ask me about the numbers and what they mean. So now you have it. Okay, if you got anything out of this video, please give it a like and share it out. And I wouldn't mind if you hit that thanks button that's right there. All donations to the channel help the channel out. Help me buy more products and bring you more information and spend more time doing research so you can know too. All right, I think that's it. Thank you so much. And remember, anywhere you can sit a pot, you can grow a plant and I'll see you on the trail. You'll be living your good life. Catch a glimpse from the outside all the time.